Hello and welcome to this pocket code tutorial. In this lesson I will first show you how to control a character while tilting your phone. Secondly I will demonstrate how to let objects fall from the sky and in the end I will tell you how you can check if two objects collide. If you like our pictures you can find them in the media library. So let's get started. You have to go to your character. In our case we chose Alice. As you can see, the size and position of Alice do not fit the background yet. So go to her scripts. When the program starts, you want her to be at the bottom of the screen and you have to make her smaller. Therefore, you have to set the Y position of Alice to the bottom of the screen. In our case, a good value is minus 600. You have to make her smaller by setting her size. For us, 40% looks good. Try it out and see if she fits your screen perfectly. If not, find new values. You need a forever loop because you want Alice to move until the game is over. In this forever loop, you need a change x by brick to move Alice according to the inclination of your phone. You take the negative inclination x because you want her to move left and right. If Alice is at the edges of the screen, we want her to bounce off. You can use the if on edge bounce brick to make that happen. Test your game and see if Alice is moving according to the inclination. Now you need a new object for the falling card. You can take the picture from the media library. You need a forever brick again, because you want the cards to fall down until the game is over. Set your Y coordinate so that it fits to the castle walls. You don't want your cards to fall from the same position every time. So you need to set the X coordinate to a random value that fits your screen size. Then the game will get more exciting, because you cannot guess where the card is falling down from. The card is not falling down yet, so you need to let your card move downwards with the glide brick. Since you want the card to fall straight down and not shift left or right, use its position x, as this is the random value set before. Then set the y coordinate to the bottom, same as you did for Alice. Try your game now and see for yourself. As you can see, nothing happens when Alice hits a card. Now you have to add scripts to check for a card hitting Alice. Therefore, you need to go to the Alice object and save the current position of Alice. Go to the scripts of Alice and add a set variable brick. Give the variable a meaningful name such as Y and set it to the position Y. And for x, you choose position x. Now the position of Alice is saved in your variables x and y. Then you go to the card object and here you need to do the collision detection with an if statement brick and the formula. First, you need to know the position of Alice and the card. Then you calculate the distance between these two objects. You use apps because the distance has to be a positive number. The apps function turns a number into a positive one. For example, apps 3 stays 3 and apps minus 3 turns to 3. If the distance of the x coordinate is smaller than 120 pixels, which is the width of Alice, they could touch each other vertically. And if the card is below minus 500, which is the vertical position of Alice, the objects are so close to each other that the card touches Alice. If the if condition is true, the brick within the if block will be performed. In this case, you need to send a broadcast, 
which is a message to every other object, so the rest of the game knows that Alice is hit. You want the game to end if Alice is hit by a card. So you need a new object for your game over screen. You can find the picture in the media library or draw it yourself. When the program starts, you want to hide this screen, because the game is not over yet. If Alice gets hit, the card sends the hit message to all objects. Then the game over object reacts to this hit message within the when I receive brick and shows itself. Test your new game and see what happens when Alice is hit. You see that Alice keeps moving and the cards are still falling down even though the game is over. Therefore you also need a when I receive brick in the scripts of Alice and hide her if she is hit. Do the same for the card object. Go to the card's scripts and add the when I receive brick and hide the card. Try it out and see if the game really ends, if Alice is hit by a card. To make the game a little bit more difficult and to get a little more action, you can copy the card object. You need a second weight to let the cards fall down at different times. You can use a waiting time of 0.5 seconds or you could try a random number. Play a new self-made game and have fun.